Today we are going to be checking out two microphones for miking acoustic guitar. Last week we checked out two dynamic microphones and today we are going to check out two condenser microphones. So we're going to check out this Neumann TLM-102 and then the KM-184 that's sitting just over here. Now the reason I am doing this is because I've been researching cameras and the more that I research cameras the thing that people keep saying is the best camera is the camera that you have and so I thought I'd apply this to microphones and looking at the best microphone is the microphone that I have so I'm looking at all my microphones looking at the way that they mic the acoustic guitar and I'm doing it on acoustic guitar because that's mainly what I play so we're gonna be working on that and I hope that this experiment that I'm doing actually inspires you to perform the same experiments on your own microphones at home and get some really cool sounds out of it. Even miking it in ways that no one's ever talked about or you've you've never heard of before or that, that just, uh, just seem like a weird place to mic. You never know, it might be horrible, it might sound awful, but then it might also come up with a really cool sound that you want to use on a recording. So I encourage you to be doing the same thing at home. Let's get into it and let's check out these two microphones. So I've finished recording the guitars and I've put it into Logic and cleaned it up a little bit. I haven't done any mixing at all. No compression, no EQ, no reverb, nothing. This is just going to be dry. So let's jump onto the computer and check it out. Alright, so first up we're going to check out the TLM-102 uh, with some finger picking at the mic position, uh, the 12th to 14th fret. Here we go. Yeah, to me that's a really nice, balanced, just even sound that, that you could definitely use really well on a recording. So I really like that sound. And that is the sound that I use, or that is the position I use most when I record acoustic guitars. Right, let's check out some strumming at the same position. Yeah, again, that's got a really nice kind of balanced sound. Maybe just a little bit woolly. I might even just, uh, you know, that'd be mic placement and just kind of back off the mic just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I really like that sound. Like I said, it's one that I, that's my kind of go-to position. So, all right, let's move on to miking the body position. Um, and let's have a look at some finger picking. Here we go. Yeah, interesting. I, I look, I really like that sound. It, you know, it has a little bit of a, a nice kind of like mid thing going on in it. Um, some nice kind of clarity with the with the um, articulation of the finger picking. So I quite like that sound. Um, let's have a look at that same position, but with some strumming. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, that position's just a little bit woolly for me. Uh, in with that strumming, it doesn't. It kind of lacks a little bit of that nice, you know, attack in the um, in the strumming. So that's not necessarily a position I would use, but um, yeah, look, it was worth a try. All right, let's have a look at the last one for these, the bridge position. We're gonna have a look at the finger picking first. Here we go. Yeah, look, it was a bit of a woolly sound. Um, look, it, it wasn't a bad sound. It was just, you know, it wasn't quite. It's probably not something I would use. Um, and maybe that was me. Maybe that was like mic placement issue. Maybe if I moved the mic into a different position, I might get a different, um, you know, a different kind of sound. But um, yeah, that one didn't quite work for me. Let's have a look at the um, strumming. That's just that's just way too woolly for me. I yeah I I don't heaps love that sound, but you know it it might work for something. But I, yeah, it's not something. It's not a sound I would I would gravitate towards. So all right, let's check out the um, KM184 and let's have a look at the 12th to 14th fret position and some finger picking. Yeah, look, that's a nice sound. I, I like the I like the clarity, but it probably just doesn't have enough body there. And and you know you could probably get that by just moving the mic closer and getting a bit more of you know that proximity effect. Um, yeah. All right, let's have a look at the strumming in that. Yeah, I feel like that's a nice balanced sound. Again, probably not. They're probably missing a little bit of body, and and again, you you know you can play with some mic placement for that to kind of get that to get that body out of it. Um, all right, let's move on to the body position with the one eight four. Here's some finger picking. See, to me, that just has a weird kind of boxy tone that I'm not, you know, I'm not heaps loving. So, all right, let's try that same um, position with some strumming. I don't know if I like that sound or not. It, look, it, to me, it's a bit weird and boxy, but it might actually have a position or like a place when doing some layering of some guitars, just as an interesting tone thrown into the mix. Um, I might do a bit more playing with that uh, as I um, as I kind of layer some more guitars in this project. Um, but it, it I, as a standalone sound, I, I don't necessarily love that. I feel like it's just a little bit uh, weird and boxy and, and honky. So, uh, all right, let's check out the bridge position. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a bit woolly for me, uh, and it doesn't this doesn't kind of provide an interesting color in in any way. So I, yep, I probably won't be using that one. Um, yeah. All right, let's have a look at the strumming at that position. Yeah, see, that's just got a, like a weird woolly boxy kind of tone going on. So I don't know. If, I don't know if that was my fault in terms of the mic placement and the mic position on that one. But um, yeah, that's not necessarily a sound I would use. Um, let's jump up, and I will give you my final thoughts. So I think for me, this one wasn't as much of a surprise as the um, SM57 and E906. I like the 12th to 14th position on the guitar with with the TLM 102 in particular, it has a nice kind of body. It has a, you know, just a good clean sound that you could you could layer really well. Something I didn't try in this test, and maybe it's something that I need to try uh, down in the future, is actually doing a combination between the 102 and the um, 184. Maybe that's something I'll try in the future. Let me know if that's something that you'd like me to try and we can, we can give that a crack. Um, but definitely, I liked that 12th to 14th fret position with the 102. That is that is by far the winner for me here. With some finger picking, maybe the the body miking with the finger picking is is a is a nice kind of sound. I thought that that kind of came across really nicely in a particular context. But yeah, I think if you're using these microphones, you probably have to think more about your microphone placement. Maybe that's something that I really needed to work on and, and find a better sweet spot with the microphone. When it comes to it, the 12th to 14th fret position just works for me with these microphones. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Tell me which ones you preferred. Tell me which, uh, which mic combination and uh, you know, position that you that you really liked, and I'll uh, see you on the next episode.